I weren't going to do any content today, but I'm just going to do something that's happened to me now, yeah, just to explain a situation to you that pisses me off about technology. This is quite common, yeah? So let me have a dig into this. This is our technology that you buy can bum you, yeah, and, and fade on you, but it still works. Let's talk about servers. I'm here. So, just there on the screen, well, there will be in a minute when I put it there, is my battery. As you can see, it's a lovely sunny day. That's why it's shining on my face, giving me a really bad shot. And at home, my batteries have been chugging away, filling up because no one's in. So the battery's 100% full. They've done the balance and everything, so I'm like, right, I'm giving it away now. I've given away 1.1 kilowatts so far today because of this lovely sun. And I'm like, right, I put the washing machine on. So let me just fill you in on the washing machine. I'll come back to how that data got there a minute ago, yeah? But my washing machine, when I bought it, is Wi-Fi enabled. I know, I'm pimp, get over it, yeah? But what's good about it, I was like, what the fuck do I need that for? The good thing is, what I do is, I fill the bowl of washing jizz up, the dobe, the dobe goo, and put it in the washing machine, yeah? Then I chuck the clothes in. Then I turn it to Wi-Fi mode. And that's great, because that means I can start the washing machine whenever I like. So I can have a delay start it at night. Or, for example, now when my battery's full, I could start it remotely. Rather than giving the electricity away. What a brilliant idea. And there's my washing machine API lock. Now, what you'll see on that is... You've not said what an API is. And there's my washing machine API lock. Now, what you'll see on that is... It's not connected. My washing machine... The, that, that API, that app on my phone... <laughs> you still not explain what an API is. says it's not connected well i've got a really pimp wi-fi system i know i'm pimp get over it in my house so i've gone onto my wi-fi logged in remotely through their api which i'm going to cover in a minute <laughs> you haven't explained what an api is <laughs> and i've looked and i can see that my washing machine is connected to my wi-fi which means that app is lying to me or possibly another reason to do with servers let's just go back on this app works and how that battery app works, and how solar apps work, and how, to be honest, most apps work, and human machine interfaces and apps and that. Get you the date that you're looking for like this. Here's how it works for this washing machine one, yeah, and all the others. You see that graph, all those... You see on that HMI that's going to be here, all those figures like, is it online, is it offline, what setting is it on, and all that bollocks, that is not your washing machine communicating to your phone or an app, yeah? Your washing machine is sending that data as data to a server somewhere, and that server records that data. When you open your app... The app requests the data that's currently there, takes it, drags it to your phone or device, laptop, whatever, then populates the human-machine interface, which is here, the graphics, the numbers, the on-off buttons and all that, and then it displays the data to you in a graphical format, often called a HMI, human-machine human machine interface, or just an app. Now, at the minute, my washing machine is saying it's offline on the API, on the app, this bit, whatever. So now, in this case, on the working API on the batteries, all these numbers, and they are just numbers, not graphs, only humans need graphs and drawings. Computers don't, they just crunch numbers. All those numbers are being sent by my battery to a server, probably somewhere in China, and populated in a list of what they call registry tables. Then when I open the app, the app says, he's asked me to draw a graph. I need this, 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 and this. And all this historic data drags it all to your phone and draws that graph in your phone. That's how it works. So you have got... Your device that you're trying to look at, which has got its data, you've got a server in the middle, and you've got your phone or whatever is trying to connect it. It's a three destination thing. This is where many things can fall down, you see, because although I am more than adequately connected to my battery and seeing that I'm producing excess electricity and giving it away for fucking free, the problem is my washing machine, despite being connected to my Wi-Fi at home, I can see that on my Wi-Fi uh, API thing, 
he said it's not connected. So now I'm guessing that my washing machine's connected to the Wi-Fi. My phone is connected to the internet and trying to get the data. But whatever's in the middle of that server is not functioning. So therefore, the communication cannot take place between my washing machine and my phone. Which means my Wi-Fi enabled washing machine is fucking absolutely useless. And may as well just be a normal washing machine. So now I can't take advantage of the cheap electricity I'm making because I can't switch it on because I'm not fucking home, which totally gets rid of the point, doesn't it? And this really is the downfall of modern technology. If you think about lots of things you've got like that, this is how they all work. Some things work locally across your local network. It communicates straight with the device and straight to your phone. When you get out in the open, as in when you're not on your home network, it will require some sort of server in between to transfer and move the data around and handle the information being given to it and the request for data from it. So there are loads of things that have been brought out and everything now requires an app done to or connection to a server, yeah? So you can go on Spunk, say you go on Spunk, uh, let's go say you buy an EV charger and it's got an app. Let's use that Anderson mob because they went bust. All those ones bought me, yeah? Their charger speaks to an app. Your phone speaks to the app, but the app is on the server. So if a company ceases to exist, you've got no way of getting the data between the two points. It may work locally at home, but you haven't bought it to be remote if it can't be remote, have you? For example, the big reason I'm a fan of Shelley is because they've said if we go bankrupt, our devices work remote, work locally. They don't need a server. Although some of the features use a server, they're not insistent on a server. The IKEA smart home stuff I use, it uses Zigbee, which is an open protocol that I can incorporate locally within my house. However, the features that now I can turn my lights on and off won't function if IKEA ceases to provide a server. So when you're buying things, get up a face while I. When you're buying things, you need to be aware that this is a thing. Anything that you can control on an app normally has something between the device you're controlling and your phone. And if that bit in the middle disappears because they don't want to run it anymore, they don't want to pay for it, they want to charge you for it, or they just can't be fucking arsed, whatever you've bought could get junk, so be aware for that. So I'm going to go home now and turn the washing machine on manually, like some fucking tramp bollocks. I've got home, look, and it's on standby, and it's on the Wi-Fi setting, and it's connected to my home Wi-Fi, because that's open. Fuck knows, I'll check the app now. No, look, it's not connected still, so it's gone tits up in it, because that's the problem with technology. It goes tits up and fucks you up, and all the good stuff it can do is out the window, because now, if you look up there, look, the sun's gone in. So I can put this on now and get the energy out of the battery. That's great, yeah? It's going to be pretty much a free wash. But I could have got home and put another wash in now and put it all here like a tramp. So basically, it's cost me 35 pence. If I don't get another wash in, there's two washes there, that's 70 pence. That's quite a lot of money to be spunking today on electricity that I didn't need to spend earlier because the sun was out if a fucking washing machine had worked. Fucking technology, mate. Now imagine doing this like I do on a massive scale and you can imagine why my days are so fucking long. So now, even though it's Wi-Fi connected, hello, do you want to be famous, to you? There you are. Now we've got... Uh, he's wondering why I'm talking to myself, Lock. He thinks I'm going nuts. I'm not going nuts. I'm on the internet. Let's turn it off. Hang on, hang on. You're ruining my shot. Do you want to kill this washing machine for me? Turn it on again. Connecting. Click. Let's see if that's worked. Well, the Wi-Fi light's on lock. Did it just need the classic turn off and on again? It's cost me fucking 70p to do that, cunt. Now it's saying... What's it saying? It's saying on remote control now, look. Sort its fucking self out, innit? What's up with you, look? Why are you pouring me? There you go, look. It's fucking come on now. I need to turn it on and off. What a fucking piss take. It's cost me money, that is. That's what happens when you have Wi-Fi connected stuff. That's why I avoid massively fitting. I don't mind fitting like stable stuff like batteries and soda because they're pretty good. EV chargers. Well, no, they're all wank, aren't they? See people from moaning about them all the time, yeah? EV chargers, solar, batteries, shellies in some way, anything that's connected to the internet, smart sockets, the IKEA stuff. I avoid fitting it like the plague for this very reason because someone changes the router setting or something and all your fucking communication is lost. And you can look like a right cunt really quickly. So, yeah, bye, beware on that. I'll quickly show you how that speaks to the server and speaks to my phone for a thing called what I believe, I'll simplify it, it's called registry tables. I'll show you how it works. This is a very basic overview of how things communicate with a server in the middle with what they call a registry table. So, you see this registry table here? 
I've got A, B, 1 and 2, which gives me four data points, yeah? A1, A2, B1, B2. Let's say the washing machine is on and the phone is trying to look if the washing machine is on. So the washing machine sends a piece of data and it puts it in a certain place. Let's write down roughly how that might look in computer language. When the washing machine is turned on, the washing machine recognises that through some sort of input and it would do something like this. It would say, washing machine, power, right, A1, as one, execute. And the table would say, all right, you're trying to tell me your washing machine needs to write A1, as one, and execute it, which is what we need to write in the boxes, yeah? That's how the washing machine tells the register table its value. Then when you open the app, the app would go, Washing machine power, read A1 request. It then looks at A1 and goes, oh. And then this server replies as, washing machine power, right, A1 is 1. And that is how our register table works. This writes the tables and this reads the tables. That is an extremely simplified example of our all protocols Mod, boss, Ethernet, RS-485, RS-232 work. It's called a table because it's like a table. What I do is I write a message on here and I leave it on the table and then someone else can come and read it. Like this. I suppose to wrap up some Terry little bit of information related to that, yeah? So now we know there's a communication between your phone and a server and your equipment and a server and vice versa all the way through, yeah? Be aware of what you're buying. So this is the important bit. My washing machine is made by Hotpoint. They're a reasonable firm, yeah? The server goes down sometimes, or the washing machine in this case has fucked up and just lost itself, even though it's connected to Wi-Fi. But just bear in mind, when you're buying cheap Chinese, I don't know, remote light switches or sockets from China, they're asking your phone for information via an app. And that app can send what it wants to ask, or it can start sending information just on your phone. So just be aware that there is a bi-directional communication happening between your app and your phone to a server somewhere owned by someone that you may or may not trust. So before you start buying cheap Chinese light switches off eBay, just bear in mind it might be asking whether the light switch is on or off to your phone, but it might also be asking for all your, all your data. So be careful. See you later.